Well, forget cocktails shaken or stirred. How about one prepared with a red hot poker straight from an open fire? Tomorrow, fans of history and cocktails will gather at Gunston Hall in Fairfax County for Cocktails by Candlelight. News Force Tommy McFly has a preview and the recipe for a hot poker flip in the scene. Cocktails with a flaming hot poker, just like George Mason would have drank. We are at Gunston Hall, the home of George Mason. Lacey Villava, you're taking us through cocktail history for a really fun event tomorrow night, Cocktails by Candlelight. Out yeah, there. you got it, 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, it's a great event. We make a whole bunch of different 18th century recipes, including this one for which you've got the flip knife. Yes, the flip cocktail involves the hot poker from the fire and the rum and the beer. I'm going to let you take it away because Sounds this is good. so exciting. Pour in a little bit of molasses about two tablespoons of rum and then I'm just gonna give it a quick stir to mix in the rum and molasses a little bit so we don't end up with a whole bunch of molasses out of the bottom and then you top it off with beer now yeah go for it All Tommy right. tell, tell me when to about here the moment of truth nice and hot it is like fire red okay I'm gonna let you handle that <laughs> Cocktails by Candlelight tomorrow at 6 will feature several drinks and bites made 18th century style. Wow. So when they did this back in the day, was it to be like craft cocktail, espresso martini artsy? Or Absolutely. was there a reason behind it? It's another way to get a sort of warm beverage pretty quickly because they and taverns certainly would have had things like this heating up all day long. Is it hot to it. touch? It should be just tiny bit warm. Okay. A flip cocktail. What do you think? Wow. It's like nothing I've ever had before. Yeah, it's very it's different. Tasting caramel and beer and rum, mm -hmm. kind of cidery mm -hmm. and warm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, Warms it? you like all inside if the fire wasn't doing that already. <laughs> and how do people come and just enjoy Gunston Hall normally if they can't make it tomorrow for Cocktails by Candlelight? Absolutely. Come out, take a tour, explore the grounds, check out our exhibits in the visitor center. Lots of different opportunities for anyone who wants to come out, there's something for them here at Gunston Hall. George Mason's home, just in the neighborhood of Mount Vernon. He and George, they were neighbors. They were, absolutely, absolutely. Cocktails tomorrow night and tours all the time. And check out our events at gunstonhall.org. What she said. With the scene, I'm Tommy McFly, News 4.